Did you know you're triangulating every time you open your GPS? Find out how. Geolocation is the process that identifies an electronic device's location using different data, ranging from GPS coordinates to Wi-Fi networks. Here, we'll go over the basics of how geolocation actually works. For more information on one of the most prominent geolocation apps today, Google Maps, click on the link above or in the description below, and remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. As you move about the world, your smartphone is constantly collecting data about your location from sources like satellites, cell towers, and Wi-Fi access points. It communicates that information back and forth with all these sources. Mobile devices use this raw data to triangulate, aka measure its angles from multiple sources to more accurately determine its position. After a device has enough raw data, it transmits it to the server that operates your GPS app of choice, like Google Maps, Apple Maps, Waze, or any other app that uses your location. The server then processes this data using algorithms that give a precise location. Finally, the accurate location is sent back to the user presented through the app's user interface. Geolocation isn't just for you and me as we find our way around town. It's used for enterprise and industrial use as well. In marketing, geolocation data lets marketers target potential customers with ads for products that are available in stores they're passing. In healthcare, medical teams need accurate geolocation data on their patients in order to provide emergency services in a timely manner. Even in logistics, trucks and other vehicles are prone to breakdowns. With geolocation data, dispatchers can locate these vehicles and send repair teams to prevent further supply chain disruptions. Despite the overwhelming benefits of geolocation, the disadvantages are clear as well. Aside from the threat of cyber criminals misusing private location data, even legitimate organizations can share this data with third parties without a user's consent. This leads them to being targeted with irrelevant products and other issues. Does your business find this technology useful? If so, how is it applied? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe too.